So we're gonna be adding and subtracting CERNs here. And to do that, you need to remember something that teachers have said to you before. Group like terms. And they probably did it in a question that looked like this. So to simplify an expression like this, you are grouping like terms. 3x plus 2x is 5x. And 2y minus y is 1y, or just y. And negative 4z minus z is negative 5z. There you have it. You have simplified by grouping like terms. We're going to do the same thing with thirds. So here we have three root twos and two root twos. So that is five root twos. And here we have two root threes and negative one root three. So two root three minus one root three is root three. And here we have negative four root five and negative root five. So that's negative five root five. If you're not seeing what I've done here, I've just replaced the X with a root two, a Y with a root three and a Z with a root five. Cause it just, it totally works the same. Figure out how many root twos you've got, group them together. Figure out how many root threes you've got, group them together. Figure out how many root fives you've got and group them together. Now that could be the end of the video, but thirds do tend to sort of disguise themselves a little. So here we have root eight plus root 18, and they don't look like like terms. There's a different thing here, there's a different thing here, but they are, they are like terms, they're just in disguise. So how do I know that? Root eight is the same as root four times two. And root 18 is the same as root 9 times 2. Now, if you can do that in your head, you don't have to write them out. It's dangerous, but you don't have to write them out. So this is the same as bringing the 4 out to root 2. And this is the same as bringing the 9 out 3 root 2. And now you can see that they are like terms, a root 2 and a root 2. Two lots of root 2 three lots of root two, my final answer is five root two. So I've taken this, where it didn't look like they were like terms, I've simplified them and found out that they in fact are like terms, and then I've been able to group them. All right, now again, another example, root three, root 12, root two, root eight, four terms, and none of them look the same, but they are the same, or at least some of them are the same. Let's have a look. 5 root 3, I can't simplify that any further than that. 5 root 3 is 5 root 3. 2 root 12, I look at that and I say, wait, that's the same as 2 root 4 times 3. Okay, minus 5 root 2, okay, I can't simplify that any further. 5 root 2 is 5 root 2. Uh, and then 3 root 8, okay, I can simplify that. 8 is the same as 4 times 2. Okay, let's take a look. I'll write it all out again. 5 root 3 plus the 4 comes out, so that's 2 times 2 is 4 root 3 minus, I've got a 5 root 2 there, and I bring the 4 out here. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 root 2. Okay, and you can see now that in fact I do have some like terms. 5 root 3 and 4 root 3. So 5 root 3s plus 4 root 3s are 9 root 3s. And here I have minus 5 root 2s plus 6 root 2s. That's 1 root 2. We don't write 1 root 2. We just write root 2. And there's our final answer. We've simplified this into 2. As you can see, simplifying doesn't mean one single third. It just means grouping the like terms that you can find. So as you can see, very simple idea, but it does rely upon us being quite fluent in being able to simplify these thirds quickly so that we can get on with simplifying those things. Practice, practice.